Man, I walked in. I'm in here for a kidnap robbery, attempted kidnap robbery, carjacking. Things I did. And you know, we grow up and we learn things I thought I was that we, that I we feel uh, guys, and I know leave us into a corner, basically. Like, we have no other way You're to no provide for our family, to provide for ourselves, in order to elevate ourselves to the next level. When I found out that I was a but everything that we learned in the streets growing nobody up, cared about me. I had no more friends. as I come I here no in this time, I got sentenced to 20 years, and with 85 percent, which means I got through 17 years. So, through Throughout this time, I get to reflect on the things I was taught. And I get to realize that the things I was taught was things of destruction, of decaying, was things of the dead. See, now I now I was able to evaluate my life and see where I went wrong here. And know that the things that my parents was trying to teach me to go to school and get an education and to read, read books, how much knowledge is in them books. If anyway, you apply it to your life, it's how you gain haters. success. It's the See, true how much right how way much in order to gain, work. gain what you want in life without anyway, having to go out and do the things that will lead you to a place like, like, right. like I'm at now. Because to to prison is hard. Priceless. It's not easy. Every day it's a stress. Every day it's a wake up. But every day is also a blessing because God has blessed you with these, with this experience that he has blessed me with to sit down in order to hear him speak to me, in order to come to him, in order to want to seek the truth and to do things the right way. Just because I so I just want to I just want to say to all of the kids who is out there, all of the people who is out there misleading or being misled, mistaught. When I was who a feel child, left I out, like abandoned, like child, who feel like child, peer pressured into doing the things yourself. of destruction, to just take a time, take a breath, and to just I'm think. And through the things of knowledge, of wisdom, of growth, of positivity, uplift one another, reach out to one another, bring someone out of a out of a you know, a terrible situation and help them in order to come into we went after a situation that can better not only just themselves but as well as the community because it's too much happening in our community now community that we just sit back and we watch we've and we come so we come we subjective to Zero and we come acceptance to because of what we've been doing there and we know that God has given it need to be more of us so who is willing to stand up stand up in the face of the adversity of what There's the next person may think or what the next person may say or do in order to help my, my help us to better ourselves. Me because of I mean, my story is really no different than a lot of people you around guys her. Have the power but I hope that I can reach out to someone out there to know that your story special. don't have to be mine, but yours can be God one better than mine. God. By just listening to my words and not going out picking up a gun or picking up some drugs or trying to run in the streets, in but instead running them books and running to the Lord. For He got all your steps, for all of your steps is directed in His path. So just. But I chose to rely on the Lord to lead your way and listen to what he tell you, what your gut tell you. you guys are one dog and by listening to that is how you gain the success of life and your purpose of being. God loves you. He always Thank y'all. Listen, speak so to your family you for a minute. If I take this dollar bill and I go yeah. like this, well, how much is it worth? You know, over here. Moms, you know I love you. My mama name how is Bobby is Davis. Mama, I love you, mama. I, I, I thank you for everything right? that that's you have right. instilled in me everything that I've neglected. I want you to know I have went back, reached, picked it up, and carried it along with me. I walk in it daily. I strive in it daily. I can't, I can't ask for a better mother than you. You was here with me in my wrongs as well as you were here with me in my rights. And I just thank you for never giving up on me. And abandoned me. You're a son of God. You've been created by God. I've went and got I've got some trades so far since I've been here. I'm looking to get more journey, trades to help elevate myself in the field for when I get out of here. And I just want to say I thank you and I love you, Mom. I love you. God is here today. You heard me say.